Peace and greetings, you guys. What's good? It's your girl, Naya here from the Metaphysical Mommy. And today's video is going to be a an unboxing of the Oracle of Oddities, the third edition. All right, I hope you guys can see that okay. This is not the best lighting. I apologize. So let's go ahead and get this plastic off of here. Here we go. Got it. Got it. All right. So now we're going to just go ahead and do a quick flip through of the third edition. So I don't know if you can see that very well. I don't know why I have shadows being cast over here. People throw shade at me, dog. Watch yourselves. Watch yourselves. All right. Come on. Here we go. All right. So... All right, so just like with the second edition, the backs are, like I said, they're they're um more like this dark hunter green kind of color. I said black before, but it's kind of uh, off, so they match the second edition. Of course, this is a 30-card oracle deck, and we're just going to go ahead and jump right in and see what we have. There's no guidebook that comes with this, but that is okay. So let's just go ahead and start. Here we have feel. Oh, this lighting is horrid. Hold on, let me try and fix this. Okay. I think I got the lighting better. So let's try this again, all right? So, um, so here we have feel. voice I love the uh, the uh, plants growing out of the bones I think that's really wonderful here we have ego I think ego's uh, depiction is very interesting here we have reflect okay here we have sorrow. Sorry guys, my fingers are all in the way. Here we go. Sorrow. Harmony. And hostility. So we have one of those pairs again like in the other one. So we have the butterflies for... Uh, we have the butterflies for harmony. And we have kind of like uh, moths and insects for hostility very interesting um i like that it i don't want to say it, it's it's only interesting because it matches with my own associations of uh these particular insects you know butterflies about that you know growth and transformation while moths are usually a bad omen oh my god ask my mother <laughs> if she don't freak out when a moth comes in the house she's like get it out get it out um, so here we have build. Okay. Here we have um, Psyche. Which for Psyche, I find this a little bit interesting. Um, I guess we can look at this like a combination of A combination of uh, the Jungian, you know, idea of the psyche in that it has the ego, the id, and the shadow. Um, since there's like these three things or the superconscious, conscious, and uh, subconscious as well is another way. Okay, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, um, next we have, um, here we have worship. Uncover. I really like this depiction uh, of of the word uncover because many times I think I find as a reader when we're reading cards, um, 
every time we pull back a layer of ourselves, it is very heart centered. It is very heartfelt and it is really digging into kind of how we feel about things um, and uncovering that and seeing how that's going to allow us to uh, transform ourselves. Um, But it takes work to dig as well. And, you know, reading cards is not just all fun and games. It's it's energy work, you know, basically is what it comes down to. Um, So I really, really enjoy that. It's beautiful. Here we have expand. Here we have expand. Here we have love and here we have love and joy. I really like that. Joy is mental. Love is from the heart. Interesting. Beginning and endings. So we have the, you know, the fetus incubating in the body. And then here we have a rotting body. Just like a deceased body. Very interesting. Very beautifully done. I really love this this deck. I don't know why I didn't get it sooner. Seriously. Uh, I've been I've been eyeballing it for the longest, longest. I guess it was just meant for me to use uh, this year. Next we have um, Spirit. Rebirth. Lovely. Passion. Here we have improve. So I find this image very uh, satisfying (laughs) Um, in that when it, you know, when we talk about improving ourselves, what are we talking about? We're talking about improving maybe perhaps our views on something, how we think about something or how we talk about something, uh, how we speak it into existence and how, um, you know, what we speak uh you know, can be the thing that manifests. Um, and it's just kind of like this fractured skull here and, and, and bringing those pieces together will create the full concrete, um, uh, bones for that. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. Here we have another pair of embrace and release. Oh man. Okay. So again, we have the same kind of symbology um or symbolism excuse me as the um as the other cards as before with the butterflies and like the uh insects the other kind of insects this one is um i find this one interesting with release that there's a scorpion and uh is that a spider no that's not a spider looks like a spider but it's not um yeah Release. Uh, releasing things can be pretty intense. And I, you know, I take that scorpion symbol as like a uh, Scorpio energy. And um, there's usually that intensity there on an emotional front. Very beautiful. Um, so here we have a couple more that are, oh, wow. Not just a couple more. Okay. So here we have some chakra cards. Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. Let me just show you what this is going to look like from far away. And then I'll bring them up closer. Look at this. Look at this. Well, let's actually do them in order because it should be this way. Look at this. Can you see it? Oh, there's a glare from there. I will fix that. But look at that. So there's, uh, here we have, so that's the rest of the deck, by the way, which, which one is being shiny? This one here. Okay. So this is just absolutely amazing. I did not even expect there to be chakra cards in here. All right. So I love it. Um, so let's start here. We have, uh, Dharma. That's a really beautiful card. That is absolutely phenomenal um wow i wasn't expecting that within this deck 
I think this is going to be my new one. I'm using this year, you guys. I'll tell you right now. Um, then we have... Okay, I cannot pronounce these in their, you know, uh, respective uh, ways. So I'm not versed in that, but I do know what they represent for me. So here we have the root chakra. The sacral chakra. And I love how the color moves, you know, it moves up to the according uh, space and, and the color is there. And some of the symbolism is there for it to the solar plexus. Um, and from the solar plexus, we move up to, is that right? Yeah, that's right. The solar plexus, then we have the, uh, the heart chakra. Then we have the throat chakra. And then we have the third eye. And the crown chakra. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god. I, I'm 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 freaking ecstatic for this deck. So guys, um this has been the th unboxing and um <sighs> unboxing and first impressions of the third edition of the Oracle of Oddities. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or anything, just go ahead and leave some comments down below. I'll leave all my information in the description box below. And, um, oh, you know what? Let's, let's take a gander at this. Let's see how me and this deck is gonna work together. Let's see what this, what this Oracle has to say. These are really comfortable to work with and shuffle. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. All right, deck. What? How is it going to, uh, our relationship outcome is going to look like? How are we going to work together? ending Ooh, interesting ending so I get ending uh, as our working together I feel like this is suggesting that you know perhaps it wants to be read after a tower reading at the at the end of a tower reading so I see that as being a very surface layer very upfront answer which I kind of appreciate um I'm gonna ask a second question just because I'm curious on a deeper context Oracle tell me how we're going to work together reflect wonderful so I get reflect. So I feel like this is this deck is basically saying there's going to be a lot for me to reflect about. There's going to be um, a lot of reflection, um, you know, because reflecting is basically seeing the truth. It's going to reflect like a mirror, um, the truth that is, you know, underneath the surface. And um, this is going to allow this is going to allow growth for me, you know, um, as well one that's just great 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 and one more card just for the sake of me wanting to pull cards today oracle tell me what card do you want to show off to our viewers passion i feel like <laughs> This deck is basically letting you guys know I have a passion for Carter Mancy and uh, that the deck knows it and is basically reflecting it and letting you guys know that that's what's good. That's the case. All right. Um, and it definitely comes from a heart centered place. And every time I 
work with a deck, go through a deck, reintroduce myself to a deck, I become more and more enamored with it. Um, and I'm sure if you're watching this, there's some kind of passion within it for you as well. So anyways, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. And again, this has been, uh, you know, an unboxing and first impressions and quick mini reading of the third edition of the Oracle of Oddities by Black and the Moon. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace and blessings. Thank you.